Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing a new Blackstone 17 inch, awesome, awesome griddle. Stay tuned. All right guys, today I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing video. Uh, we actually bought a camper and at the very end of the video, I will show you the whole RV if you want, but stay tuned for the end. Uh, while I am camping, I need something reliable, something that can hook right up to my RV propane tank and get the job done. Now, everybody knows Blackstone is just crushing the game and is awesome, but we're gonna check this bad boy out and see how it matches up with our RV to see you know, if the quick connect works, hopefully I got the right one. Uh, but also, uh, if anybody else is running a camper or buys a camper and they want to know how it matches up perfectly, uh, this is what I'm here for, is to try to see if this works out perfectly. And then I'll put those links in the description below. So, let's get this thing unboxed. <laughs> super easy to put together literally literally it came in four pieces so I need to put the losing stuff I need to put the legs on super easy all right that part's done now one thing I do want to tell you is this obviously comes with it and it connects right there right however this is for those propane canisters you buy when i bought this quick connect i was actually starting to freak out because i thought i needed to connect this here and then connect this somewhere well that's not what you do you just connect your quick connect hose right to it and bam there you go so i'm jumping ahead but when I was assembling and I was looking at this, I was like, oh crap, do I need this? Did I get the wrong size fitting? I, I don't have anything that fits here. So I was kind of freaking out there for a second, but duh, you actually don't need it. You just connect right there. So jumping ahead, but uh, it kind of gave me a moment of pause. So I wanted to stop on it. Well, that's it folks, that's how you assemble it. Now right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. No, you can't. Uh, this isn't fitting in snug, so I'm gonna have to play with that, but it still looks like the grease has plenty of room for the grease to fall in there. Yeah, there's more than enough room, but I like my equipment to look clean, so I'm gonna play around with that see if there's something I need to do on my end. I don't know, leave a comment below if you're having that issue because that's actually kind of pissing me off. I like my equipment. Let me see if I can bend, bend these things in to give it a snugger hold. Is that the trick? Eh, it's getting there, I don't know. It looks a little I don't like that so leave a comment if you've dealt with that I'm gonna play with it a little more but that's it we're done all I need to do now is season it up okay now we're done uh, now I just need to season it up and go I think some people do travel though yeah look at that you turn it upside down and it fits. 
really snug. And that's how you travel with it. I don't know how I'm going to travel with that because I normally have it greasy as all get out. But I guess I'll actually have to clean my stuff. All right, a little hard to see. I, no, sorry, terrible camera work. All right, I did the quick connect right in there. And I don't have the griddle on yet. Hopefully this works instead of, you know, lighting my camper on fire. Hopefully they made this pretty foolproof because I am a fool. All right, let's see if I can do this right. Push in to get the gas flowing. There we go. You can't see it because it's lit real hot. And it took me about three turns, but oh yeah. That flame's going, it's crystal clear. Good flame, good hot flame. We're cooking with gas. Actually, we're cooking with grill top, so there you go. All right, guys, that was awesome because that was probably one of the easiest assemblies I've had to do with all my smokers and griddles. Uh, I had another Blackstone, the big 36 inch. That thing was a monster and it made amazing food. I know this one's going to also, um, just because I know the brand really well. Everybody raves about it, and I've had it before, so it was awesome. Hooked right up, quick connect, hooked up, worked, happy about it all. Um, I'm going to wash it down, season it. I'm not going to do that on camera. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then uh, let me know if you want to see more camping stuff. I'm going to be throwing some burgers, fajitas, uh, Wagyu is actually going to be the first cook on this a little bit later today so we're going to be traveling and doing some stuff across the country and we needed a grill that was going to do it for us or griddle i should say uh but let me know in the comments below if you want to see more rv stuff i really don't want to do too much this is a food channel but uh keep me posted if you do want to see a little bit more uh this rv lifestyle and we'll t we'll leave it there i'll see you guys later bye Wave to the camera, s'mores girl. It's an Integra Vision XL34, and uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. Check it out.